Hello and welcome to day number four of my Body Beats transformation. Today was build shoulders. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay some footage. Uh, there's a shoulder press, there are two versions of rows which I'm going to explain, and there is the underhand shoulder press. Now the footage is not the best camera angle per se because I had to use my laptop to record it because it's got the webcam and stuff. And then I also had to make sure that I was within the range of the audio out cord so that I could still listen to my music while I was working out. So there's the reasoning behind the fact of the bad camera angles in. The rose gives a little bit poor lighting, but it, it, it'll still make sense when I explain it. So the shoulder press is just a basic shoulder press. I'm kind of showing this and the struggles because I've always had from like a couple years ago when I blew it out during baseball, I have rotator cuff tendonitis in my left shoulder. And to do the, the shoulder press, it's a little bit more difficult for me to get that up there all the way than, than it is for most people. And, and I don't have any differences. I mean, I can still put out the same weight with both shoulders without a problem, but there's still that weariness and you know carefulness that I have to have when I'm doing that because I don't want to snap all my stuff up here and then be out for quite a while unable to work out or anything because uh, with the shoulder gone you can't do push-ups you can't really do much biceps triceps definitely not and you're really kind of just stuck to body weight leg exercises and that's really not fun so definitely gonna be careful when I do that now the rows the reason why I'm showing this I have one with my shirt on I guess I'm just bear with me here one of them has my shirt on simply to show the fact of the matter that that is an adult small on me and before I started this program the first time that was tight I shouldn't say tight but you know form fitting from top to bottom now if you'll notice the I don't know if it really picks up well in the footage but the bottom part by the waist is loose so from all this exercising that I've done the upper half of my upper half if that makes sense, is definitely becoming stronger and, and growing in size. And I think it's interesting to show that change with the, the waistline of shirts that used to fit me the same top to bottom now are, are a little bit more tighter up in the chest area and not so much in the waist area. And then the second one, the second set, was the heavier set. I chose to show that without the shirt because if you look on the one with the back, there's because I kind of had it so you can see the mirror so you can see my front and back. If you look at my back, the reason why I showed it as such is because when you do that with the plates and you, and you grip on the plate like that and then you just come up, when you come up and you, you don't hit your chin but you come close to your chin and you kind of bend your back, you pinch your shoulder blades together. If you really look carefully, you can kind of see the contraction that that gives in your back. So instead of just doing regular upright rows, you can do it with a plate and you can get that back action as well and you can do kill t two birds with one stone and I think it's a very effective way to get a back workout while you're getting your shoulder workout and it's kind of just your whole upper half of your upper body and it feels a lot better and personally I like doing it plates better uh, the, the dumbbells I kind of I don't want to sway and off balance and and kind of tilt or something and the barbell I just have never been a fan of because that's just one big hunk with the weights on the side and it kind of is just a little weird so I, I like the plate, you get a good grip, which also builds just general hand and forearm strength. And then you can pull it up, get great everything, arms, chest, back, and it's just a more effective way of doing that exercise. So highly encourage using the plates. But uh, that's going to wrap up day number four. Hope that showing some stuff gives you ideas and maybe you can take from it, use some of it, maybe edit some of what I chose and... and make it work for yourself so thank you everybody for watching uh, I got my lemon lime amino I'm about to hit the hay I just got done with tomorrow's workout uh, so cheers to you all I'll see you all tomorrow